On this CD, we are going to hear Johann Sebastian Bach's uh, organ preludes and fugues. They are very famous pieces. They are all from an edition made by the Thomas Cantor Karl Straube in the early 20th century. This volume was published by C.F. Peters in 1913, and it contains 10 preludes and fugues of Bach. These are not all of Bach's most famous pieces, but they are among the most best known, and, um, and the edition is very, very interesting and represents a, um, a manner of performance practice from the early 20th century. Straube, at least from an American perspective, Straube had almost a legendary status uh, from our perspective in the United States as the organist at the St. Thomas Church and then later the cantor uh, there. And I became interested in this uh, version, we could say, or this edition of the pieces after I became the successor to Straube's pupil, Heinrich Fleischer, at the University of Minnesota. Fleischer, during his uh, long tenure in America, became uh, uh, almost a legend himself as one of Straube's pupils here in Leipzig in the 1930s. The addition of the pieces is very, very interesting. It's very, very complicated. Straube gives uh, extensive instructions for the use of the organ, for dynamics, for registration, um, uh, for fingerings, and especially for changes of manual. And it's especially the, the, the uh, use of the organ and the changes of manual which I found especially interesting. Um, it's rather challenging from a technical point of view. I think it's well known in musical circles that, that at least in the organ world, after the middle 20th century, uh, Bach performance moved uh, decisively away from the, the older uh, legato phrased uh, uh, technique towards uh, what some people now call a historically uh, informed uh, type of practice. And so this exercise uh, for me was also one in exploring the, the uh, concepts of the musical phrase as they were known in the, at the turn of the 20th century. The sound is really dependent on this type of organ, where um, an organist can uh, make a gradual diminuendo and a gradual crescendo of sound, almost uh, like an orchestral uh, effect. That explains the reason why I am here at the Michaeliskirche. This is a very beautiful organ completed by uh, Wilhelm Zauer in the early 20th century. 